Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Worst Epic Gamer here, guys, and today is a pretty special episode on Marvel Strike Forces because we are actually going to level up to level 50, which is the current max right now so we are not going to be able to level up anymore after this because the game is not released yet obviously if you're playing the game right now you're enjoying it if you haven't uh, you know tried the game out yet you're waiting for the launch date this is actually pretty special but it's kind of for uh, foreshadowing a little bit because i'm going to show you guys how you're going to be able to get uh iron man all right it's not a secret it's not hard to get it's going to take you some time obviously but it's not too difficult first of all second of all Depending on when you start the game, when you're playing the game, you might kind of be confused because when you look at Iron Man, you're going to notice that there's really no way you can get them. Let's go ahead and click on them right now. So when you click on find, it's going to now it's going to show you that the event is running on. But other than the event, there's no other way to get Iron Man, guys. All right. So it's very simple. They run this. I'm not sure if they run it once a month or whenever they're going to run the event. But I'm going to kind of tell you guys right now, this way I'm going to prepare you. So you're going to be not confused or lost when it actually comes out. So what you got to do is uh, open up your event, all right? They're going to have a bunch of tiers, five different tiers. It requires you to use your shield agents, guys, all right? It's very simple. It requires only shield agents. So right off the bat, if you start off the game, you uh, you don't know what you're going to do. You want to get Iron Man free, you know, for free. You don't have to pay anything. He's a free-to-play character. All you have to do is be able to, uh, you know, beat all these tiers. Then this is what you're going to have to do. Start working on your shield agents right away, guys. That's You're going to need them right away because at tier 5, so let's see. You're going to need at least 5 stars because every tier requires that amount of stars. So at tier 1, you need 5 shield agents, at least 1 star. Tier 2, 5 shield agents, at least two stars and so on and so forth all right so it's that simple make sure that you can get a team of five shield agents at five stars uh it's not that difficult to get shield agents are kind of easily accessible as we can take a look let's look at the roster i'm going to show you guys really quickly a couple of the really good ones that i'm using right now um black widow is a beast she's really really good guys you can definitely get black widow from the campaign so she's an easy target to get um Hawkeye, you can get him in the arena shop, so he's pretty simple to get. And then the other ones, uh, the medic here, you can just farm these guys, right? You can farm them. Shield operative, you can find, I mean, you can farm her in the campaign as well. Shield uh, assault, you can farm them as well. So a lot of these heroes are a lot easier to farm throughout your campaign, so don't worry about that. But I'm just kind of telling you guys right now, so you're kind of prepared before anything happens. You know how you're going to get Iron Man, get your shield team going, guys, and uh, boom, you're going to have Iron Man just like that. All right, so you're not going to be kind of shocked because when the event dropped, I was like, oh, crap. I'm literally working on only two. I was only working on uh, Hawkeye and uh, Black Widow at the moment, so I wasn't prepared at all, which, you know, a lot of people are not. If you play the game for a while, it'll be easy. You're going to have a bunch of different people on your roster. But if you knew, like kind of, you know, I am at level 49, it's a little bit harder. Now, going off of that, this is also exciting because as you guys can see, I'm about to hit level 50, as I said. So let's go ahead. We're not going to waste any time, guys. Now, I'm going to also show you a couple of proper ways to use your stamina. Stamina is very important in this game. As you can see at the top there, you can refresh your stamina just like every other game. You can you can spend your power cores, you know, to refresh your stamina. But those cost money, so you kind of don't want to use that, you know, refresh them too many times here. So, let's go ahead. The best ways, the best ways, first of all, is you got to complete your dailies, all right? You get a lot of experience just for completing your dailies. And it's very simple. It doesn't take too long. A couple of easy things. So, Complete your dailies and you're going to get a lot of experience right away. But stamina-wise, um, there's a couple of priorities that you want to do, guys. First of all, you want to prioritize the heroes that you want to get. So, for instance, Black Widow, uh, I'm using her a lot. Elektra, kind of falling off for me a little bit here at the end. Um, Yandu, a great hero. So, let's take a look at Yandu. Let's see where we can get him. So, as you can see, I already 3 starred this villain unit. So, I'm going to go there. I'm going to auto-fight this 5 times. And boom, 4 Yandu shards. And uh, that's actually a pretty good drop, four shards. And every day you do that, uh, by the time you know it, a couple weeks, bam, Yandu, three stars. And then another three, four weeks, bam, Yandu, five stars. And notification. So that's essentially how you want to spend all of your um, stamina, guys. F early on, you want to farm for, for shards, as many as you can get. And then later on, you're going to uh, you also have to farm for uh, equipment too, guys. Equipment is very important in the game, so... That's another thing you want to, you know, you want to farm for. So let's go ahead. Let's do. So we did one villain 
and we did one hero so let's go take a look at our daily objective here let's claim all this because this should almost get us to the top there what are we 32 and this should do it level up level 50 guys like i said before um our campaign energy max is increased we get some good things here some more energy and this is great now the problem is we are at currently a max which means all stamina is kind of going to waste so it kind of blows to be honest with you right now once you're at level max it kind of does blow because you feel like you know you're spending up all these stamina and they're not being utilized so you're essentially just using stamina now just to farm that's all the experience doesn't count you're just going to be farming for whatever you know heroes you want to farm for um the kree royal guard i love the kree royal guard guys a lot of damage he's a tank pretty awesome if you ask me i love this guy but the only way you can farm is the arena supplies which is not that hard to get you know i'll make another video showing you guys all the heroes what my opinions are and who's who and who's what and what kind of combinations work pretty good obviously as the game as i progress throughout the game and then when we get closer to the launch date it'll be a lot more videos coming but for now g or let's just keep working on some different heroes here the bottom ones i'm not working on most of them right now because it's hard like i said before it's hard another reason why it's pretty hard is because um because this game is not released in the u.s right now I kind of had to uh, download through, you know, a different store, obviously a different app store. Um, so I can't spend any US dollars on it because you cannot use your your iTunes account on a different country. It's kind of weird, but it doesn't allow me to do that. So I'm kind of doing ringing it, guys. Free to play. You know how much I hate, hate free to play <laughs> because I just want to progress as fast as possible. And uh, this doesn't allow me to do that. So, yeah, it kind of blows. But let's work on a little Jessica Jones a little bit here. She's a cleanser. Jessica Zones. If you don't know what she does, guys, she's a cleanser. She's going to cl uh, cleanse negative. This one right here. Uh, shake it off. Clear all negative effects from self. Clear one negative effect from two to ten allies. Clear two negative effects from, from allies. So she's a cleanser. That's her main priority. Plus, she does a good amount of damage, right? So damage and cleansing um, on your team. Hawkeye, really quickly, he's got a pretty cool ability. Second ability here. This one is... Going to clear positive effects from your your opponents, all right? So he's going to debuff them, right? So they have buffs going on. They have uh, taunts. He's going to be able to debuff them right away. He's a great counter to Drax. If you know anything about Drax, he's got an auto taunt. As soon as the battle starts, he auto taunts. And then it's kind of hard unless you have Hawkeye. Hawkeye, Hawkeye uh, counters them very well, all right? Everybody's got different abilities that we can talk about, but for right now... That's kind of all I wanted to show you guys. Let's take a look at here. Uh, once you're in this store, guys, the shop, the supplies uh, shop, make sure you buy everything that costs just gold. All right. Early on, you that's all that stuff is doable. Buy all that. It's going to be nice equipment on your heroes. And then the game is actually pretty cool because it gives you a lot of different openings here. So every day you can log in and you can open up more free chests all right every once in a while they're going to give you free chests make sure you always open them up let's collect our now doing your dailies now it's not as important as it was before because they don't really give you anything you know other than you, you do get these other rewards here guys all right experience plus some gold so you still want to do them every day but uh the main part was the experience all right so let's take a look at a couple of heroes that are coming you know coming soon coming attraction guys so we got kingpin i'm five shards away if i get lucky on a drop he's ready to go um that's something i'm really looking forward to kingpin looks like a pretty good hero uh hulk you get him through your uh, accomplishments all right so everybody's going to be able to get him you just got to keep playing the game eventually you'll get hulk uh he seems awesome too i want to try him out uh quake seems like a pretty cool hero so that these are the heroes that i'm getting getting close at i got lucky in iron fist he dropped in one of my free um you know orb openings supply openings so that was pretty cool but i need another lucky drop for him so i can actually you know unlock him and talk about him for a little bit so a bunch of different heroes here i'm looking forward to some other heroes thor i'm looking forward to actually getting you know captain america and like i said iron man but i gotta work on my shield operatives all right my shield team uh daredevil looks pretty cool and uh 
Pretty sure the best hero in the game, guys, is Nick Fury. He seems incredible, to be honest. His abilities are unbelievable. Let's just take a look at real quickly. At the start of each hero ally's turn. So each hero ally's turn. So you stack them up with a team of heroes. 5% chance for, uh, for any ally to gain team attack for that turn. All right. So that's a low percentage. But I'm sure it'll, as you know, as once you raise this ability a little bit higher, maybe it'll go up to 10 15% which is actually pretty decent that your whole team will attack so that one seems really nice and uh, reinforcements here gain defense up I mean gain offense up for two turns summon one to two level one shield minions and then that'll increase as well so that's two different abilities there then he has a uh, rally gain defense up for one turn apply all positive effects on self to allies <laughs> that's really really good guys so He's going to gain defense up for one turn and then all positive effects on him is going to give it to all your allies, which is incredible. I mean, that's really, really good. You can definitely work with this a lot. If you have some other heroes that are going to give him some buffs, give him some buffs, use rally, give all the buffs to everybody else. So a lot of different possibilities with this uh, with this dude here. Nick Fury is a beast. And then uh, his, uh, his first ability here, attack primary target for 100 damage, 5% crit chance. Uh, grant one ability energy to an ally when you crit It's a low crit chance 5% is not a lot But if you do crit one ability energy to an ally when you crit with this attack, so that's really sick <laughs> All his abilities sound awesome guys in my opinion from his abilities. This guy is hands down probably the best hero in the game uh, Still don't know how you're gonna be able to get him. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an event though I mean, they've got his face right on the events there. So I'm guessing that's the best way to do him and uh, no homo, but uh, that's how you do it, guys. <laughs> and um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just real quickly letting you guys know I reached the level cap, guys. Level 50. 50, your boy is up there and uh, just slowly progressing, all right? My goal right now is literally just to unlock as many heroes as possible for now. Once the once we have the global launch, then we can blow some cash like we do. And then we can uh, jump through everything in the game, all right? But for now, that'll be it, guys. Hope you enjoy that. I will catch you guys on the next Marvel Strikes Force video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.